video we are going to discuss about the QR code the meaning of QR code is the full uh, meaning of the QR code is quick response code so we will be mainly talking about the QR code and uh, discuss how we can use the QR code to promote the library services and uh, resources for the benefit of the users so first I'll give the brief introduction about QR code so that it will be more clear that what is the QR code and how we are going to use it so here you can see that the QR code is a two-dimensional barcode that stores information in black and white dots nowadays you might have seen that there are means the QR code is visible in almost everywhere if you book the railway ticket you may find the QR code at the top right, right corner if you are buying any product then also you can see at the end means at the back or where the price is mentioned in the product so uh, there is a small zigzag format and that contains the QR code and if you just if you purchase the book also at the back you will see the one uh, uh, dimensional barcode so that means uh, there this information is stored in the form of Q, means QR code uh, the information about the particular book so likewise you might have seen at the different places where the QR code is being used now it is very essential to know what actually it is why do we use it and how we are going to use it in our library or in any library for the benefit of the users or for promotion of our library activities or services or resources so the abbreviation is the QR code and if you expand it then it will become quick response code so initially it was introduced in the 1994 by the one Japanese company Toyota, uh, the automotive industry and uh, based on my study especially when I saw the different resources I understood that uh, the QR code is an advanced version of barcode machine uh, readable optical label because if you remember when we generate the barcode what happens it generates the uh, strips or you can say the lining based on the information provided uh, to this system the input provided to the system and that generates the barcode so the QR code is the the advanced the version of the barcode and that we know it as a QR code and uh, generally people know it is uh, it is a two-dimensional barcode and this contains information in black and white dots so it contains information about any item and user uh, four encoding modes are used the numeric alphanumeric byte or binary and kanji to efficiently store data I'll just I'll be showing you how to generate QR code and how to add information to this and then uh, further how we can use it for uh, different purposes and how to uh, how to be seen by the user end user when the uh, QR code is dis disseminated or circulated for the use and it can uh, means consist of black squares which are arranged in square and can be read by any QR image processing device or scanner 2D so uh, what I'm trying to say that any uh, QR code uh, reader or scanner you can download it from internet uh, nowadays it's uh, freely available especially in Google Play Store if you go you will find a plenty of QR code scanner or reader you can download and install in your any smartphone and uh, you can scan the QR code and you will get the information so that we will be discussing about later now the question is that how to generate QR code so here I would like to focus mainly on uh, the tools what are the tools available for this purpose so basically it can be generated online also it can be generated offline also there are many tools or then there are many websites available online which provides the direct link where you can provide your information and it will help you to generate the QR code and uh, likewise there are many offline tools which you can download and install in your computer and later on as and when required you can generate the QR code based on your need so both the options are available both the possibilities are there I'll be discussing one by one how to generate online tools how to 
generate uh, the QR code through offline tools. Now, but uh, it is important the, to know that what are the tools available. So let's discuss first the online tools to generate QR code. And these are the websites, some of the top websites for generating QR code I have downloaded means uh, noted down from the internet and I have arranged them in order. The first one is the qr-code-generator.com. I like it because it contains, it provides uh, 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 means options to generate QR code in different way. I'll be discussing about uh, uh, means in detail using the first website. Likewise, there are many other websites which can also be used to generate QR code online. And in the same way, there, there are some tools offline also which can be downloaded from internet and can be used for generating the QR code. The best one I found is the Jint, J -I -N -T, which you can download from sourceforge.net and you can use it. So we'll be discussing about that also. Now the question is that how we can use it in our library because library contains so many things so we have to use the QR code in different way so that the users who uh, of the library they can use this QR code and they can get the services they can get the benefit of this QR code library resources services in the effective way so what are the item what are the things we can uh, means uh, uh, use uh, with the help of QR code first of all I would like to mention here that all the website which you have in your library uh, which are containing the services you can means include in the website and you can add that website convert that website code as a QR code uh, we will be discussing about this then nowadays every library subscribes many resources some of them are provided by government some of them the institute subscribe subscribes uh, means with uh, its own funding and uh, then uh, a library procures many documents so what happens some of the sometimes we circulate the information through mail or website but sometimes what happens user does not find it convenient to go and access these resources online so in order to make the access more easy we can convert these uh, the links of these resources into qr code and later on these codes uh, can be arranged in a systematic manner and can be displayed on the notice board of the library where users will come and access uh, without going to particular uh, means computer desktop or wherever they are roaming we can also display the QR code in the systematic manner in the different notice board in the institute so whenever the user is passing by and uh, if it, the user is interested can scan the QR code and can get the benefit of this likewise the contact of library staff we can generate QR code uh, for poster and pamphlet we can generate QR code and we can add the QR code to the poster and pamphlets we can add the QR code in workshop banner we can add the QR code for Wi-Fi access detail uh, means your library has Wi-Fi access detail and many users that are not aware how to use it so you can uh, means give the small introduction about the Wi-Fi access how to access it what uh, IP address to be given what is the password default password likewise you can generate the QR code and you can provide the information to the users apart from this there are uh, many other things like we can uh, use the QR code in information literacy detail like circulation privilege for example users they do not know many users new users especially when they join the institute or library they are not aware about the how many books they can take from library or what is the fine uh, what is the opac um, uh, link what is the new arrival link where is the login page where is the announcement so all these you can uh, means com compile in different qr code you can arrange in one word file in tabular format and you can print it and display in the notice board so it, the users will find it very convenient to scan and get the information about information literacy detail likewise you can uh, create the qr code for your own visiting card i have used here you can see in the uh, the slide that i have used the qr code which contains my whole information user doesn't have to carry my card only scan the qr code and get all the detail in the mobile so these are the myth means uh, different way uh, where library can make use of qr code in order to promote the library services for the benefit of 
uh, users of the library and the institute. Now the question is how to read it. So as I already mentioned, there are many uh, QR code reader and scanner available online, which can be downloaded and which can be installed in the uh, Android sub, uh, smart uh, phone, Android supported smartphone, and they can uh, read this QR code uh, using the uh, QR code scanner and reader. So uh, the information will be displayed in the mobile. So thanks for watching this video. In next video, we are going to discuss many more. So keep watching. And uh, if you wish to be updated always, please subscribe the channel and get the detail about many things. Thanks.